Hello guys, today we are going to analyze the stock of Computer Age Management Services Limited. Now what does the company do? Focus on these words guys. CAMS is a technological driven financial infrastructure and service provider to mutual funds and other financial institutions. It has a market share over 69% and it does not only serve B2B service partners but also serves customers through various touch points. Now, yes, it is a technological driven, which means it has created various platforms to serve mutual fund business as well as investors platforms for each need to reach all the customers. It not only serves top five mutual funds, but also nine of the 15 largest mutual funds and has a relationship of average 19 years. So you can see guys, it has a long lasting relationship with all the big clients. It also has a pan India presence approx 272 service centers spread across 25 states and five union territories. Also the business of camps, it serves mutual funds. Now, how does it serves mutual fund business? It assists mutual fund clients in compliance with scheme documentation like KYC, SEBI regulation. It also helps them in risk management like assist mutual fund clients in conducting diligence of their investors, also regulatory oversight and cyber security. Along with this, it also serves investors by providing various services as well as distributors. Before studying more about the company, let us look at the fundamentals of the stock first and also guys, if you find this content helpful, then please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Now the company has a market cap of approx 18,000 crores. The current price of the stock is around 3,688. Face value is rupees 10. Now company has not completed one year in the stock market. So, it has generated in approx 95% returns in last 6 months. Also, it is debt free. Another positive news for the stock. Now guys, when we see the stock PE, it is around 67. But when we compare it with the industry PE, it is just 24. And book value of the stock is just 94 rupees. So looking at this PE and book value, one might feel that company is available at a much premium valuation. So it is quite right. Yes, it is available at a premium valuation, but further in this video, we will discuss that why it is justified for camps to have this much valuation. Also, when we look at the returns generated by the company, just see the figures return on capital employed approx 58% and return on equity of 44%. Now, these figures are just impressive. Also, if we see the pros of the company we can see yes it is debt free it has good track record in generating returns and company has also been maintaining a healthy dividend payout as we just discussed that book value is very low so price to book value ratio is 39 and sales growth for the company has not been appropriate in the last five years so yes camps does not have any relevant peer with which we can compare it is the only company in that sector when we look at their quarterly results we can see the yes, sales are increasing quarter by quarter and even the operating profit margin have improved on a quarterly basis now eps of this year we can see in september 2019 it was eight and now it has doubled in just two years another positive news for the stock even on a yearly basis just see the dividend payout ratio from 74% now it has reached to 140%. So this is good sign from the management side. When we look at the balance sheet, we can see that company has been improving their reserves year by year. Guys, earlier in this video, we discussed that company is serving mutual funds. Now, how is it serving mutual fund? So it helps in account creation to process of redemption of funds. So there is a whole cycle in which CAMS is involved. Like we can see it serves to asset management companies, for example, record keeping and management, anti-money laundering services, and many other tasks also. Serves to mutual fund investors for SMS online customer service, assist with queries and service requests, and also serves to distributors for like help desk, 
computation of various brokerage and many other services. Also in other services, it has alternate investment fund services where it has 86 clients electronic payment collection it also serves to insurance and has a market share of approx 40 percent in insurance repository business it helps in kyc registration agency and software solutions also if we look at their shareholding pattern we can see that 31 percent of the shareholding is with promoters 48 percent is with institutions and remaining 21 percent includes retail investors and other parties now guys one very interesting thing about this company when we have a look at the institutional holders just see the name guys it will amaze you aditya billa sun life fidelity investment goldman sachs hdfc bank hdfc limited icic prudential iifl sbi life insurance sbi mutual funds small cap world fund so all these are very big names approx 79% of the shareholding is with the strong hands. Company gave dividend 6 times in the last 12 months. We can see dividend of approx 8, 3, 25, special dividend 6, 7, 11. Total dividend of approx 63 rupees in the last one year. If we look at the transaction volume, we can see a growth on year on year basis and 5% quarter on quarter also. SIP book also increased, SIP transaction improved live investor folios increased and unique investor service also improved so everything improved in the latest quarter even if we compare it with the industry then industry asset under management grew by 8.6 percentage but for camps it improved by 10 percentage when we look at the equity asset under management then there was a growth of 4 percent for the industry but for camps, it was just 1.3% which is less than the industry. But another good news for the company, it has been able to increase its market share from 69% to now 70.1% an improvement of 1.3%. Revenue also increased both on year on year basis and quarter on quarter. Asset based revenue increased, even non asset based revenue increased non mutual fund revenue year on year it decreased but quarter on quarter it improved by 16 percent approx now guys this is the chart of camps on a one day time frame we can see a good support for the stock at the level of 3500 and recently stock broke this level earlier this was acting as the resistance for the stock after giving a good breakout now we can see that stock is retracing back also we can see that earlier stock was taking support from this particular trend line when it broke this trend line it took the support from 50 days moving average and then broke this resistance of 3500 now guys if someone is already invested in this stock i think they can continue being invested in this stock this is one of a gem stock but if someone is looking for a new fresh entry then either they could wait for the stock to come at this level of 3500 and if the stock shows some reversal sign they can enter in this stock but if the stock breaks the support of 3500 then the next strong support is at the level of 3030 so we can wait till that level if stock breaks that support otherwise if it shows any reversal sign then we can enter at 3500 now guys this was all from this video if you found the content helpful then please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this youtube channel also in the comment section you can let me know if i missed any important point about this stock or if you want me to cover any specific stock thank you